How to maximize your health care dollars. Ginger Sims is a certified physician assistant at Novant Health Wellness Clinic in Winston-Salem. And she's here to explain to us, even though recent studies indicate that more people have insurance than in years past, it appears health care spending costs are on the rise again. So can you share some of the ways that everyone can make the most of their health care? Yeah, I'm Ideally, the best thing for folks to do is to seek care in the most appropriate setting. So, mm -hmm. trying to stay out of the emergency room, um, the best thing to do is to see a primary care provider in a community-based clinic. Um, many of these clinics have expanded their hours, um, are offering walk-in clinics to better meet the needs of their patients. Sometimes if you have more immediate needs, um, other options could be an urgent care or uh, an express care clinic. They can many times take care of those immediate needs, keeping you out of the emergency room and, and saving you money at the same time. All right, so now you mentioned being evaluated in a physician's office can save health care dollars. How can establishing, say, with a primary care provider save money? So studies tell us that those individuals that have a primary care doctor, have a good working relationship with that primary care doctor, actually save more on their health care dollars, so that it just costs less. And we think that part of that is due to that working relationship, the provider can make recommendations for the best age-appropriate and gender-appropriate screenings, mm -hmm. also get in the wellness checkups that are, are really important, and therefore keeping the person healthy, but also um, catching things early. Mm -hmm. So just seeing your, your family doctor on a regular basis is going to save you money. Even though you're paying money to go, but you're going to save it in the long run. Absolutely. And another part of that relationship is medication management. So mm -hmm. working with that provider to try to uh, choose the right medications for you, and many times that conversation revolves around generic medications so those medications can be just as effective but save you money at the same time many people think that oh, I'm just going to skip this medication I'm going to mm -hmm. save money by doing that but what we really see is it's a higher incidence of emergency room visits possible hospitalizations costing more in the long run so once you establish with that primary care you guys have a medication plan I encourage folks to stick to it all right this has to be a quick one any other ways to maximize those dollars yeah, so stay focused on your plan. Know what your plan covers. Um, most plans cover preventative services at 100%, which means those are free to the, to the patient. Um, seeing providers and an in-network uh, for that plan will usually cost you less out of pocket. And choosing the right type of um, care center, so maybe an outpatient surgical center versus an, uh, a surgery center that may exist in a hospital setting. Gotcha. Good advice. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. All right.